Hi, I'm Maitri Chaudhary and I am with INDAS Apollo Arts Initiative and today we are making a sample of the African art. We are making an African mask out of construction paper. So the supplies that we need for this project are definitely construction paper, one big one, 12 by 18, any color that you may have or any color that the children may pick. It would be a good idea for them actually to let them pick the color. And then we have some leftovers of these kind of pieces of construction paper of different colors, a size, something similar or any other shapes and sizes that you may have from previous art projects. And most importantly for the crazy hair, we have some strips of paper, different colors, as you can see. And we have our glue and a stapler, scissor, pencil. First we'll take the big construction paper and we'll fold it vertically in half. I have now here the vertically folded paper and now for me it is I can just directly cut a C but also it's a good idea for the kids to draw a C. On the, a big C you can mention and for the little ones maybe you can help out here at this stage. And then we cut it along the C from the outside. Not from the inside, from the outside, not here. We cut out the extra. With little children, it is easy if you give step-by-step -step instruction. So if you are doing a demonstration for them, do it one step at a time. For the older ones, you can do three or four steps at a time. At this point, you check it looks we open it up and say hey that's a shape of a face a very long face and there you can talk about what what is a mask used for and now here I'm going to make a slit you can see the slit and I'm going to join it these two as you can see I'm going to join it here and use my stapler And you can see how it gives a little bit of shape to the mask. And we do the same thing on the top. Just almost one and a half inch slit. And then stapling this on top of each other. There we have our face. And now we do the nose. African mask is sometimes worn over the head like this rather than in the face. So it doesn't always need to have a slit, a eye slit. But that is up to you if you want to show the kids. If they are older children, you can show them how to cut a slit. Just taking a little scissor and then folding the paper like this and then making a slit here. If not, you can just have a, this is, could be a, just a decorative mask and not something they wear. And we can add the eyes on top. We have this small piece of paper of any other color and then we fold that also in half. And then I draw the nose. As you can see, I view the nose like that. I will use some glue.
There you go. Just a very simple nose. And then some eyes. I see some lighter colors for the eyes. More dramatic, the better, so we'll make a big eye. Let the children have some fun. What are the different shapes of eyes they can see around the classroom, maybe? I got two eyes. I folded my paper and I did one eye and I got two eyes from that. Now I'm going to place it. And what another thing you can do, you can fold this. And you have a little bit of raised effect instead of just a flat eye, a protruding eye. some eyeball, small piece of black paper, two pieces of black paper, and a circle. That's it. That could be of also any shape, any others. Could be angular and it's more slanted. Let's give this person a very big eyelid. What do you say, kids? I got a rectangular piece of. Okay, no. I need two pieces of paper, always. And I am cutting some fringes and I'm leaving this area plain and then I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to roll it. Now I have two but I think I'm going to see. There you go. As you see, I'm cutting the shape, like cutting it again like a C. It's just an idea. As I said, the kids can do something they like. You can go to each table and walk around and show them something new. If you have any ideas, please feel free to show it to them. Every mask should look different. I'm not saying that's what we are trying to do here. some big red eyebrows. Okay, that doesn't look too big to me. So I'm going to fold my paper right over and bigger.
this is a project where there is no design that we have made from before we are just using paper and having some fun now is my mask a girl or a boy that is a question because maybe I want to add some red lips You can also use glue stick for this project. But somehow I feel that that may cause sometimes some frustration because it takes a little while longer to stick things. This is more spontaneous. Now let's think what else we can do. How about some war paint on the mask face? Just random rectangular lines, circular lines, any shape, just any trims that you may have left. We have these little strips of paper, the war paint, and now I'm going to just randomly place it. I'll try to be symmetrical, but that's not a necessary thing to do. And now, this is how our face looks at this point. This is fairly fun simple face but how can we make it more dramatic and that's where our longer strips of paper come in so we have these strips of paper the children can cut it if they have time and you also have as a teacher some hand read pre-made ones it saves time and how we can crimp it some we can crimp it like this some we can crimp it like this let me show you how you do that. For a simple crimping, you can take your pencil and you can go like this. And this just does it. Or you can, if that doesn't work, sometimes with heavyweight construction paper, you never know. Then I just roll it like that. And then I open it up. And I have this crazy curl or something that I like better is the other cream. I have some assistant here my friends here Pia and Jyoti who are going to help me do the hair because this guy needs to be crazy so I folded this piece of paper and now I'm going to open it can you show them, Jyoti, how you did that? So we're just going to fold it in 
little blocks like this. And when you inside, press outside, it, inside, outside, almost like a fan that you made. You paper open fans. it becomes like this. Okay, let's glue. Or should we staple? We can do either one. How about you make it Jyoti and I staple? Okay. Because the glue will take a long time. Okay. hair as you want to this mask and make it more dramatic. Let the kids have some fun, as I always say. So here is our Jyoti and Pia has been great help for all these projects that you have seen. And we give the credit to the African mask idea to the Princeton website.